Carolyn Doobie here. What's the play for today? Well, today I am going to face a little hoarding reality moment. I love buying sparkly things to play with in the studio, including like glue on, press on gems, self adhesive gems, that kind of stuff. And it turns out I really like to buy them because I found a drawer full of them, but I haven't used them in forever. And quite frankly, most of the ones that I've bought, I've bought and not really used. So today I'm going to use a bunch of them up. I've got a canvas that I think is, it's fine, but it's, yeah, you know, it's in the middle range. It doesn't excite me. It doesn't upset me. So I am going to bedazzle this canvas with just a few gems. So here's the canvas I'm going to use, and here's the drawer full of all sorts of sparkly things. I love stuff that sparkles, but looking at how many of these packages haven't been opened or only have one or two things used in them, as much as I love them, I clearly don't love using them that much. So that's what I'm going to make happen today. Now the tool that I'm going to be using with all these little gems, I don't remember the exact name of it, but I'll have a link to it over on the blog at a colorfuljourney.com for you. And it helps me pick up the little gems easily and move them around because once I start bringing out the tacky glue and my fingers get sticky, it's very easy for me to actually just kind of get caked in these gems instead of them actually sticking to the canvas. So I'm just going to put some tacky glue down here and start sticking the gems in it. Now some gems are self-adhesive and that's great. Of course the ones I picked do not have that on the back of them. And could there possibly be a better glue or a proper glue or all that kind of stuff for these? Probably. I'm just playing around here so I'm going to use the glue that I have and I've got tacky glue. I also got tired of looking for these little gems inside the tin so I just dumped them all out to make it easier to grab them. And then I realized quite how many were in there and wow there are an awful lot of them in there. In my head there's a part of me that's thinking what if I could just use all of these up here on this one canvas? That way I could have that sense of accomplishment that I'd actually used up a whole bunch of stuff in my stash. We'll see if I can actually manage to put this many of these on one single canvas. Now as I'm putting these on I want to let you know what is going through my head. I am carefully planning the composition, taking into account the impact that the sparkle will have in that quadrant of the painting for the optimal result. Yeah, no. I'm just kind of going, hey, how about put one here? Hey, how about put one there? There is absolutely no planning. And some of these, well, it's not going to go quite so well. So I'm removing these off of here so I can actually work on the canvas instead of having them all piled up there. And I'm beginning to use as many as I can in one spot because frankly, there are an awful lot of these things in those little packages of gems. Wow, can there be an awful lot in there. And if I'm just putting two and three here, two and three here, I'm never going to be able to use these up. So I decided let's just load them up. And so I'm going to completely cover in part of this with these gems, with the hope, the goal of actually using them up. And so whenever you're doing something, you get that feeling when you're about halfway through it, you go, oh, that's not good. That's really not good. That's what I was having there. So I went over and started working on something on another part of the canvas. And guess what feeling I had there? <laughs> Once again, the, oh, that's not good. But you know what? If these things aren't the way that I want them, if it doesn't turn out as I expect or as I plan, I'm just going to call them an oops, an outstanding opportunity presenting suddenly. And you probably had an idea that there was going to be an oops or two in this just by the fact that I was going to put a whole bunch of sparkling gems all over a canvas. Now what happens to me sometimes when I'm doing a task like this and I have a whole lot of something that I need to do in repetition, sometimes I have the attention span of a squirrel. And so after a while, my mind starts to really wander and I start to lose my enthusiasm for doing the same thing over and over and over again, which is pretty much how these little orange and red ones were starting to feel. But never fear, I knew what to do. What I needed to do was just bring in some different gems. And luckily for me, I've got a whole pile of them sitting right next to me. So I grabbed some of those next and I took some of the blue ones, some big ones. I got some variety and all of a sudden I was re-energized with these. Now those did have sticky backs to them, so they were even easier to put down. And then I just started grabbing other stuff and seeing what I wanted to put where. Now these little guys were nice because they were all stuck in a nice little row. It wasn't like me sticking every single one on individually which you can tell by this point I'd kind of gone, oh, I'm kind of tired of doing that. 
This stuff is like tape that has all these little pieces and bits in it. So I'm just kind of cutting it up and sticking it in different places. And I am just going to town putting sparkles here, there, and everywhere on this. And if you want to know other ways that I help myself, give myself that nudge that I need some days to use up those hoarded supplies, I've got other posts over on the blog as well as videos on YouTube that maybe the link will magically be popping up for you right now. If not, it will be down below the video in the description. Well, at this point, I'm starting to have sparkle remorse. Yeah, it's kind of like buyer's remorse, except when you put a little too much sparkle on something. Now, does that mean it's the end of the world? Nah, it's just an oops. It's an outstanding opportunity presenting suddenly, and I am going to take this palette knife and I am just going to scrape off any of the gems and jewels here that I think were, how shall we say, a little too much or not positioned in a place that I like them. And yep, something else is about to go right now. Yep, that other one. You remember back earlier in the video when those two were the ones, even as I was doing them, I went, oh, I don't know if I like them. Guess what? You just scrape stuff off. It doesn't have to be there forever. But this canvas, as fun as it's been so far, doesn't feel finished to me by a long shot. It needs something more, but what exactly? Well, when in doubt, I'm gonna bring in more color. So I'm starting out here with some purple, but it doesn't take long before I'm like, no, I don't wanna do the purple right now. I wanna do something else. So I'm gonna use the white paint and I'm gonna use the palette knife that I had out for scraping off the gems. I'm gonna use that to kind of smear around some white paint. And yes, as I'm doing this, am I smearing it right on top of some of the gems? Absolutely. It's not like you can't put it over on top of something. And in fact, there's one right in the middle that has a little bit of paint on it and I'm gonna put even more on it. And as I kind of smear that paint around, I realize, hey, that's kind of like a belly button for my painting. Granted, it's an Audi, not an Innie, but my painting now has a full-fledged belly button. Well, where's the play gonna take me next on this? I'm gonna bring in some color to put on top of that white. Anytime I see white space, it screams to me for the rainbow. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now, was I always able to play this freely and this loosely with something, even when things weren't going quite as planned or something ugly popped up on there? Absolutely not. It was not always this easy for me. I had to rediscover how to let myself play again. I mean, we all knew it as kids, but how we get back to it as adults, well, that's the challenge. And I've got a free workshop called Permission to Play that shares some of the ways that I help myself rediscover how to play. And you can find that over on the blog at acolorfuljourney.com. And this canvas is whispering to me that it's time for me to step away and wrap up this video. So thanks for joining me and remember to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thanks for letting me be a part of your colorful journey. <laughs>